What's up my friends? I'm Harve, I'm a videographer, and on this channel I make videos about videography. Have you ever wondered what you can do to optimise your YouTube uploads? I did, and so I want to share exactly what I do when uploading my videos. Plus, I've done a ton of research as I do with every single video. I even spoke to uh, an expert on the subject, an SEO consultant. As ever, I've timestamped everything down below so you can just skip to the bit you want, and let's do it. I now have a non-profit Patreon for this channel, the idea being that any funds from Patreon I put back into the channel, I buy gear, and then I give it away to my backers. It's inexpensive to be a backer, just the cost of a cup of coffee, so if you like this content and you like giveaways, do check it out, it's all linked below. A couple of caveats. These tips don't guarantee your videos millions of views. Now, in the past, I've hit on a good number of my videos, but that's largely down to them being modestly okay content that people find interesting and helpful, and, you know, that's always the goal with my videos. Secondly, the Google algorithm is a fickle, mysterious, mercurial, oft infuriating thing that's just ever changing. So these are just good practices, and I'm sure there's going to be a few that you may not have thought of. The first and most important tip is to treat a YouTube upload as if it's a search result on Google, because for all intents and purposes, it is. A well-optimized YouTube video will rank really well on Google and is a really good way of getting views, and we're going to really focus on how to do that. Tip two, and I don't know about you, but I've always wondered whether using capital letters in your YouTube titles makes a difference to SEO or not, or whether we should stay away from them. Some guys use all caps in part of their video titles, and other guys like Casey Neistat don't seem to use any. So I researched this, and I would have thought that using all caps would be a good thing for your title SEO, you know, something that's really eye-catching and clickable. But the consensus is that it's really not good for SEO. Google doesn't like it, so we should obey Google. Tip three, and most of you won't know this, but I actually have another business that I run on the side of this. And I, for that, I've actually used some YouTube SEO consultancy in the past, and one thing that came up that I definitely wouldn't have thought of is to name the file that you're uploading to YouTube, the video file, with the exact title that you intend to use for that video upload. This is one of those things where I, I don't know if that makes a huge difference. It's really kind of impossible to know that the, the effect that that would have on an upload, but I figure it can't hurt, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Tip four, and video titles with really bold claims that promise a lot can be really great for getting clicks. But if the video doesn't live up to the hype you've created, viewers understandably will let you hear about it via the dislike button, and obviously that's not great. Personally, I prefer to focus on making a really high quality video first, and then I'll think about giving it a modestly clickable title. After all, content is still king. Tip five, and many big YouTube channels use keyword research to come up with the titles for their videos, which you can do too. If you're not familiar with keyword research, it's where you can use software to find high-ranking words on search engines, and then you can tailor your titles using these. The very best keyword research tools are paid services like Moz, Hrefs, SEMrush. A buddy of mine who's a keyword research expert recommends Hrefs for YouTube. Of course, you could try Google's free keyword research tool, which personally I've never got on with, and on the whole, I am not a proponent for using keyword research. For my titles, I prefer to go for just the most accurate title that I can that I can come up with. Tip six, and the first 200 characters of your video description are key. Do you remember back in the beginning of the video I mentioned about treating a YouTube up upload like a web page? Well, it is, and Google uses those first 200 characters to decide how to rank your video. So be sure to get all of the most important information about your video into those first 200 characters. Tip seven, and you simply have to add timestamps to every video if you can. If you're not familiar with what timestamps are, I've added them to this video. You can check if you just click on the progress bar below, you'll see they're uh, all broken up into chapters. This one, probably gonna be called timestamps. This isn't just good for your videos ranking on Google, but it's also super handy for the viewers. I love it when YouTube videos have this, so I just assume that if I do it, 
you, the viewers, will appreciate it. All you need to do is list the significant times in your description and name each chapter nicely. Tip number eight, and this is a time saver, tags that you can add to your video used to mean a lot when it came to the SEO of your videos. Now they really mean not very much at all. The way that I use them now is say if I'm reviewing a product and the product name is sometimes spelt in different ways, like the Sony a7 IV camera, which officially Roman numerals are used for the four, but people may search for it using the number, that kind of thing. Tip nine, and brands and product names can be a really powerful thing to use in a video title, because these are specific terms that people are gonna be searching for, often with the word review after it, but beware. If things look too branded and official, people are not stupid, they will instantly think, is this sponsored? Is it paid promotion? So you've really got to be careful with that kind of side of it as well. An example that springs to mind of how potentially not to go about it is Peter McKinnon's Canon R5 video. It was the first Canon R5 video on YouTube. It was pretty slick looking. Andy would have the viewers believe it was the holy grail of cameras. We quickly heard from other sources that the R5 wasn't perfect, but there was no mention of that in Pete's, as it turned out, 100% paid for by Canon promotional video. And I feel like he lost some credibility off the back of it. Now, if, slash when I watch a YouTube video from Peter McKinnon, I've always got that in the back of my mind. Are these opinions his? Tip 10, and quality thumbnails really can make a tangible difference to the popularity of a video. Perhaps not so much on the SEO side of things, but certainly on the clickability. Personally, where possible, I would recommend using a photo, a real photo or some kind of graphic instead of some sort of screen grab of something from the video. Tip 11, and don't forget to use cards when uploading a video. You know what I mean by cards? The little things that pop up in this corner, like the one you can see there. Now, cards are brilliant. If you make sure that they're relevant to the video that the viewer's watching at the time, YouTube will be much more likely to suggest it as something to watch next. And that's a good thing. My last tip, tip 12, and not adding an end screen to your video is, I think, a real missed opportunity. Think of it this way. Not many viewers get to the end of most videos. That's just the way it works. So the way I think of it is this. People that get to the end of the videos, they're probably maybe one of two, two things. They're either a subscriber who, someone that know, they already know they like your content, so they might be up for watching something else, or it's someone that's not subscribed, but they found the video really engaging, so might be up for watching something else. Either way, there's a high likelihood of the viewer either watching something else or clicking on the subscribe button. This is not so much an SEO tip, more kind of uh, kind of an engagement no-brainer. But this video is actually about to end and I'm about to do my end screen, so stick around and you'll see how I do that and tie it in with the rest of my content. So let's quickly sum up our 12 tips. And firstly, treat your YouTube uploads like Google search results. They are. That's the mindset to have. From my research, it seems like the best practice is not to use all caps titles. Just use caps where they're meant to be. I'm still dubious about this next one, but I'm gonna keep matching my upload file name to my video title. Don't know if it helps, but I'm gonna do it. Video titles that promise a lot, but then don't deliver tend to end up as thumbs down fests which obviously is not good for the ranking of your video. Keyword research I know is super powerful and something that I might start doing in future. And you can start using it today, completely free using the Google tool. This next one could be the most important tip and the first 200 characters of your video description is what Google uses to rank your video. So make sure it's well written with all the key search terms in there. Timestamps are a no brainer. The viewers love it. Plus it looks great when your video pops up in a Google search result. However, I wouldn't spend much time worrying about tags on your video. They really don't mean that much these days. Just use it for a few different variations of the search terms that people might use to find your video. This next one is more of a personal preference and I don't like my videos to look too branded or sponsored. Well, cause I don't do sponsorship at all, but I certainly don't want it looking that way. For me anyway, credibility and honesty are important. There's definitely a correlation between good looking thumbnails and successful popular videos. So really take some time 
time and do it right. And combining my last two tips into one, mainly because I'm running out of space, using cards and end screens are both no-brainer things to do for your videos. Get on it, make sure you're doing them. Anyway, that's it for now. I just hope you found this video interesting and helpful, and it's hopefully helped you to optimize your YouTube videos a bit better. And I wanna hear from you. If you know of any other tips that I hadn't mentioned about you know, optimizing YouTube videos, definitely let me know in the comment section below. After all, this channel has always been about learning and sharing. And then here's my end screen. I've now made hundreds of videos about videography on this channel, of which YouTube has recommended this video for you, and the one underneath is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.